In this video, I'm going to be showing you how broken Sub-Zero can actually get in Mortal Kombat 1 with the right cameo and the right combo. Now look, all I hear everywhere is how bad Sub-Zero is, or some people even still think that he's bottom 3, and I will tell you that is far from the truth, at least in my opinion. I feel like Sub-Zero with Chameleon is one of the top tier teams in this game. And before we get into the matches, let me show you a little clip from a ranking video I made a couple of days ago, where I talk about why I think Sub-Zero and Chameleon is so good. So with Jade, he has an overhead that he can make safe and a low that he can make save both start a combo by the way with katana he can make the one two two ring into a 50 50 with either an overhead or a low using katana's fan off the slide you can also do this with two one two and with melina he's even crazier because you have a back three that can go immediately into the double overhead or you can just continue the string which is the low low and then use the melina size for a full combo no matter who you have as chameleon you are able to do some sort of mix up to get your opponent to open up if there is anything i have missed with sub-zero and chameleon let me know down below in the comment section let's get right into the video starting it out we're facing a johnny case so you know we had to tighten our butthole and lock in You guys know I've played a lot of teams in this game. There's just a weird satisfaction about Sub-Zero and Chameleon. It feels like every single combo you land, you just get the meanest direction you've ever had. And like I've said before, I'm not sexually attracted to combos, but Sub-Zero is really testing me. If you're enjoying the video so far, like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps me grow in more ways than one. Next up, we're facing a smoke, and he's using frost, which is a different combo than I'm used to, but it does give him a little overhead low mix-up, but look at this combo. You know, this might be one of the first times in a very long time I haven't been absolutely spanked by a smoke. But we have to give this guy props because he's doing something that nobody else does. Next to we're facing Rain, and I'm gonna be completely honest with you, Rain is probably the worst matchup for Sub-Zero. It's between Rain or Gearus. It literally felt like I was tied up and he was just spanking me with a bat the entire time I played any Rain. It was like an uphill battle, but I was butt naked and there was people with cameras everywhere around the mountain.
If there's things you know about this game that I don't, there's a link to the Discord in the description. Let's grow the community together. You know, you gotta give the studio some props. They absolutely nailed Rain's buff. That got me wondering, who do you guys think should be the next character to kind of get a buff slash rework? By the end of this video, you guys are never going to want to see a Sub-Zero Brutality for the rest of your lives. But now we got to go against a Brokka and a Cyrax. And I'm not going to lie to you, this guy absolutely lays his schlong right over my forehead for the first round. The reason I keep using the whole cameo meter just for even a little bit of extra damage just to squeeze it out is because chameleon regenerates so fast that if you have to use a cameo meter for for like 40 to 30 more damage I'm willing to do that because by the time the combo is done it's already back. In the final match, we're facing Sub-Zero's biggest op, and we immediately hit him with the combo. If you want to know where this video stemmed off of, this is the video that started it all. I rank every single character in it, and I also show you everything I mean when I talk about the characters being in a certain place. And as an added bonus, there's brutality combos in there like everywhere.